we are given a second order linear homogeneous differential equation that has a solution of y1 equals x. We're asked to determine the general solution on the interval from zero to infinity. We just solved this problem using the method of reduction of order. This time we'll solve it using the shortcut formula shown below. Where if the second order linear homogeneous differential equation is in the form of y double prime plus p of x times y prime plus q of x times y equals zero, then the second solution y2 of x is equal to y1 of x times the integral of e to the power of the opposite of the integral of p of x dx divided by the square of y1 of x. And we can use this to find a second solution, and then the general solution is made up of the linear combinations of y1 and y2. So to begin, notice how the given differential equation is in the correct form, where p of x is equal to x to the power of negative one. If we want one divided by x. And therefore, the second solution, y2 of x, is equal to y1 of x, which is x, times the integral of e to the power of the opposite of the integral of one divided by x dx, divided by y1 of x squared, which is x squared. And now let's begin to evaluate this. We have x times the integral of e to the power of the opposite of the integral of one divided by x dx is equal to negative natural log x plus a constant, which we'll call plus c sub one. This is still divided by x squared. Now let's simplify the exponential term. Let's first apply the power property of logarithms by moving the coefficient of negative one to the exponent on x, which gives us e to the power of natural log x to the power of negative one, and then we have times e to the power of c sub one, which is just some constant, and e to the power of natural log x to the power of negative one simplifies to x to the power of negative one. So this gives us x times the integral of Let's call it c sub two times x to the power of negative one divided by x squared. And x to the power of negative one divided by x squared simplifies to x to the power of negative three, giving us x times the integral of c sub two x to the power of negative three dx. Now we can finally integrate. y sub two of x is equal to x times c sub two times x to the power of negative two divided by negative two plus a constant which we'll call c sub three. Now we can use any solution from this family of functions for y sub two of x, meaning we can select any value for c sub two and c sub three. To use the simplest function for y sub two of x, let's let c sub three equal zero and c sub two equal negative two. In this case, that means y2 of x is just x times x to the power of negative two, or x to the power of negative one, or one over x. So now we know y1 equals x, and y2 equals one divided by x. Because these two functions are linearly independent, the general solution will be the linear combinations of these two functions, which means the general solution is y of x equals, we've already used c sub one through c sub three, so let's say c sub four times y one, which is x, plus c sub five times y two, which is one divided by x. And this is the same solution we found using the longer method for the reduction of order. I hope you found this helpful.